So my first visit to the community center was actually kind of happened in a little bit of a stumble. My mom happened to walk into the community center because she saw some kids hanging out and wanted to pretty much find out what, what's going on or why those kids were there. Um, after getting some more information about the programmings and the type of stuff that they do at the community center, she then um, let me and my brother know, hey, I need you guys to sign up for the, for the card. At that point, it was a little laminated piece of paper. Uh, there were $10, she said, here's $20 for both of you guys. I need you to go buy those memberships and then come back and show me the card once, uh, once you guys have purchased it. So once I got my center ID, um, obviously that gave us the opportunity to start coming to the community center more on a regular basis. At that point, that's when we discovered that the community center actually offered youth soccer classes. And because of the fact that everybody was so nice to me, because they treated me like the little brother, uh, everybody, including Coach Ray, who I still know to this day, and I still, every time I greet him, I still say, hey coach, and uh, he still says, hey Carlos. Um, so. Um, it had a huge impact on my life and just knowing maybe that was probably when I discovered that I actually liked being outdoors and, and being an outdoor person. Once I figured out that soccer pretty much wasn't gonna be my thing, it was only natural for us to pretty much come back to the community center and figure out what other courses or what other programs they have um, that I might definitely be interested in. Uh, at that point, it was around summertime, so that's when we my, my mother discovered uh, the summer playground. Um, again, because of most of the people that I was with in the, in the summer courses that were older than me, they were either already participating or knew about extreme teens. So it was only very, it was only natural for me to kind of start participating in the extreme teens program. And again, being the younger one and me feeling that I was hanging out with the older teens, for me that that was a good feeling for me. So it felt good for me to come to the community centers on Friday and having activities to do, um, letting my mom know like, no, tonight is Friday. I'm going to be at the at the Langley Park Community Center. This pretty much became a second home for me. At that point, I started volunteering at the age of 15 years old. I volunteered for a whole year, just helping out at the community center, answering phones uh, in any way in front of the front desk, um, which kind of, again, was a natural fit when the cotillion eventually came around and I was of age. Um, I was here already, I had volunteered, I knew enough about the program um, that I wanted to do it, and um, I participated in the 16-week program that taught me pretty much a lot of the stuff that now I can use. It gave me an opportunity um, to, again, kind of hang out with my peers and do something outside of the box, which I probably wouldn't have experienced before. Although I had gone to New York City plenty of times, this was the first time that I got to go with my peers. And that in itself gave me confidence to be, to be by myself and it made me feel independent because I was there, although there were chaperones there, uh, just being there with people my age just you know, was, was a good feeling. And because it opened up my eyes to other stuff such as the arts, having seen my first Broadway play in uh, during the Teen Cotillion. The Department of Parks and Recreation definitely helped me into becoming a citizen because it gave me a place where I can be, where I can be myself and I felt confident and I can try to speak the broken English that I had that I didn't have. Uh, and having to be with my peers, like I said, it gave me a place where of sense of belonging. Um, and because I didn't know any English when I came to the United States, this gave me a place where I could practice it and maybe not feel judged or not feel that someone was making fun of me because they knew my situation because uh, again I was I was I was new to this community and they knew that and it made me it gave me that sense of belonging that that I needed where I could get leave my put my guard down and be myself uh, and um, emerge myself more into the communities becoming a citizen for me um, was a huge step um, because having lived in this country and not be a citizen and now knowing that I am a part of this um, the, of this country it's as if a door has opened for me pretty much and um, for example the last time that I voted was my first time voting and at that point it was such a it was such a an amazing feeling to know that this was the reason why my mother started this journey. This is the reason for me to have a sense of home because no matter how far I am from my actual home, this is my home. This is where my family is and this is where I hope to start my family one day. Having had grown up through the Department of Parks and Recreation, um, I volunteered at Langley Park Community Center for about a year before I eventually got a part-time job here. I think once I started working with the customer service aspect of it, 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 it led me to, um, to know and open my eyes and believe, you know what, I can do greater things within this, uh, this department. So I started working, I, 
the Park and Planning Help Desk, which is where I'm currently at now. So now having found my niche, uh, I feel excited going into work every day knowing that I'm able to do my job at the best of my abilities and which is customer service and uh, just excited to know that I found the place where I, where I fit in. I am Carlos Flores and I was born in Guatemala. I grew up as an immigrant in Prince George's County and continue to grow as a citizen. Find out how you can grow with Parks and Recreation. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Visit us at www.pgparks.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook.